quarter of the way the egg would actually come out mm -hmm. and eventually be fertilized and become a baby. That's the way. So this one's going to be the way the sperm would come out. All right. So first place we're starting. So testis is one. Testes is more than one. So here you can't actually see it very well because you have cream master and the, um, the scrotal sheath covering it. But here, you see that organ right there, A? That's going to be a testis. Okay, so I might as well do with this one for the time being. On top of the testis, you have this structure here. That's going to be your epididymis. Epi, for on top, and then didymis. From the epididymis, you're going to see that connection. Everybody see that part right there? Mm -hmm. All right, so now it becomes a different color. This tube, that's going to be your ductus deferens. So this is your ductus deferens. So spermatic cord, you probably saw somewhere on one of the pictures, that's referring to the entire thing to include the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. All right? And such. But just the bas deferent or ductus deferent, that's going to be number, I believe it says 13 there. Everybody good so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Go back to this one. This outer muscle here, that's going to be the muscle known as cremaster. All right, you also have dartos, but it's not pictured, so I'm not going to worry about it. But cremaster is going to be the muscle on top here. Okay, so now, going from there, the ductus deferens, you could actually see, come all the way through here as well. Do not confuse it with this tube here. Does anybody know what that is, by the way? Ureter. That's the ureter, right? So it goes past the ureter, either on top or under it, and now it runs into this gland here. Those are going to be the seminal vesicles. So seminal vesicles. Next part, that one is not dissected, or rather dissected through, and the other one. Goes. Ah, there it goes. That's what it would normally look like. All right. So now. As we go inside, we go past the seminal vesicles, and now we enter this structure known as the prostate. All right, so this one and this one, same thing, prostate. I'm gonna actually put it together so that way everybody can see. Looks like as a whole. All right, that's the prostate gland, so it's gonna enter in there. And right there, inside the prostate gland, you have that duct there. Mm -hmm. That's the ejaculatory duct. That's to differentiate from the urethral passage here that now has a dual purpose for mm -hmm. the male. All right, so anything above that, that's just gonna be the urine. Anything here, that's going to be the actual ejaculatory or ejaculation expelling. All right, so as we come out here, all of that's urethra. But then now we actually run into the penis itself. So that's it. I just want to make sure I either put just glands or prepuce. What time is that? I just put penis and glands. All right. So the penis itself, the entire structure, the glands is actually just this part that's actually exposed on this model. So that's going to be that actual um, glands. And then for the male, I don't know if I have it on there, but just in case, that's the prepuce right there for the male. So on an uncircumcised male, actually it would be much longer. It would actually cover the entire glands. Mm -hmm. But for this model, they went with circumcised, so that's what it would actually look like. That's the uh, Ah, but we read the No, that's actually back here. So thank you for actually asking me. I actually skipped it. So, see that little gland there, 21? Mm -hmm. That's bulb we read through. So just think bulb, and it attaches to the urethra. Right. Urethra. A ureter. <laughs> urethra. Alright. So I believe that's everything, right? Okay. Any questions? No? Alright. And you're good.